Okay, so that little bat house I hung in my yard inspired me to try to make my own, a better one. And I need enough wood to make a 20 inch tall by 14 inch wide chamber. And I need a landing area of 3 to 6 inches for the bats. So I have enough scrap wood here to do it. Got some exterior plywood and some other wood, scrap wood. Let's see what I come up with. Quick tool list for the bat box project. Tape measure and pencil. Speed square or framing square if you have one. Wire snips. A hammer, but preferably. Power drill with bit and drill bit. Also, power saw with a framing blade and a sheathing blade. I left the box unpainted and unassembled so that I could show you the interior design. First off, on the outside it's 2 foot long times 17 inches wide. This gives me plenty of room to have a large chamber as well as a very sturdy frame made out of 2x4s. You can see on the inside of the box I do have wire mesh to assist the bats in getting up inside the box as well as a full length mesh that goes all the way up into the inner chambers and also extends down outside of the box five and a half inches so that they have plenty of room to land and then crawl into the chamber. The inner chamber is divided into three quarter inch slots. The entrance chamber is three inches and then it goes down to a chamber that is one inch, another chamber that is two inches, and a innermost chamber that is three quarters of an inch and another three quarters of an inch chamber. It is a nice snug feel for the bats if they want to get into the tight spot. Also, the chambers are made out of recycled wood from cabinets, which has been I scored, scored well. these chamber panels using a back saw and a utility knife. The utility knife is probably good enough, but you definitely want to score your wood on the interior of your bat box if you have no wire mesh to put inside. By the way, all the materials used in this project come from reusing or else they are leftovers or scraps from other projects. For example, leftover sheathing, reusing wire from a cage, fasteners that came from an old fence that was torn down, a metal roof that was torn off, and other projects. As you can see, none of this is painted or assembled. So I am going to put it together, caulk it, and paint it. To weatherproof my bat box, I'm using a paintable acrylic latex caulk, indoor-outdoor. Also, a water-based primer, as well as a water-based paint that is good for outdoors, exterior use. I'm also using fasteners, screws, that are either aluminum, stainless steel, or galvanized. I primed and painted all the pieces before assembly, but I'm also going to paint them afterwards. You can see here I'm mounting a pressure treated board on the outside of the box. And this will be the back of the box. Do not use pressure treated wood for any part of the box except for the mounting pole.
finished bat house. You can see it's quite the large one. Weighs about 25, 30 pounds. It's very sturdy. I primed it and put three outer coats of paint and yes it's a taupe color kind of a charcoal gray and that's so it can absorb sunlight but not too much sunlight bats need a warm dry place to house in in a place that's kind of away from danger they can get up in there away from any predators that are going to get to them and also then to keep warm and dry and snug and feel safe so this is an adequate bat house for a family of bats I'll be able to get more than one bat in here quite a few as a matter of fact, and they'll be able to reproduce, use this as a, a brooding house. Now the smaller bat houses you see, they might house one bat, if at all. Uh, they don't really tend to do well, so I recommend a nice large box. It doesn't have to be this wide, it can be half the width, have only one chamber. If you're in a temperate zone area, where the temperatures are between 80, 90, 95 degrees during the summer. You might want to paint it a gray color. If it's cooler than that, paint it a black color. If it's hotter than that, paint it a light color. Beige, maybe even white if you're in a very hot region like Florida or Texas. Uh, yeah, this is my own design. I just cut it out with a jigsaw and spray painted it. But this is, is an exterior primer and paint. It's a water-based paint don't want those heavy oils bothering the bats and I did not paint it on the inside some people do stain with the water based stain on the inside I chose not to I believe this is going to hold up quite well for quite a long time just the way it is sealed every crack every crevice with caulk and like I said it's got a coat of primer and three coats of paint and stain is a great service by helping to control harmful insect pests like blood suckers and crop destroyers Unfortunately, bats are on the decline. They are suffering from disease and habitat loss. We can do them a favor by helping to provide a warm, dry place for them to hang out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free.